life between the young guy. I am Sid and I'm here to give you some more information about being a young person in today's society. And this episode is about college and a gap year. Basically going to college or should you take a gap year? Now, before I get into the um, whole perspective of what you want to do, the pros and cons, like everything in life has pros and cons, I'm gonna give you my insight of my personal experience of what I did. Um, so basically, I'm a recent graduate, by the way, uh, 2021 all the way, woohoo. Um, anyway, so of course, my dream school was Full Sail University. For those of you that don't know where it's at, it's in Winter Park, Florida, basically around the Orlando area. Um, want to do a film production, want to be an actor, still do, still working on that dream, don't get me wrong. Um, and that's my dream school ever since middle school, right? You know, at that age, I'm thinking college is the only way for me to pursue that dream or to, it's the only way out basically, um, to put it in that matter. But as I've grown older and surrounded myself with other people and other opinions and advice, it's not that they persuaded me. I just looked at it from different perspectives. I was like, huh, this is not the only way to do it or this is not the only way that you can get to this point. And so it opened my mind to other varieties, options. And I've decided personally to take a gap year. Um, I told, you know, my family is pretty cool with it. They're pretty supportive. When it comes to my family, they're pretty supportive, you know. And I get it that some, not all teens, families are supportive of that. And it, I know it sucks, it's terrible, but at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for you. And you cannot let them get in the way, no matter what, you know, no matter if it's family or not. But anyway, so yeah. I decided to take a gap year. Um, so right now, I'm just doing traveling, exploring, figuring out who I am, you know, just experience and just, you could learn it in college. You could learn this stuff in college, like traveling, exploring, you know, across the country, the world. You could learn this stuff in college, but it's better to get the actual personal experience yourself so you know what you're getting into instead of reading it in a textbook and getting graded on it. Still nonsense to me, but yeah, that's why I'm taking the gap year. Also, you know, work as well. Uh, save up, of course. You know, just to relax and give myself a break. Because once again, I did like, what, 12, 13, 14 years of school. And that's mentally draining as it is right there. So me going right back to school, that's, I feel like that's not healthy. That's just me personally. I don't feel like I can do that in a way. But hey, that's just me. You do what's best for you at the end of the day, no matter what. Um, but yeah, that's where I am right now. And uh, a year from now, we'll see if I still wanted to go. Um, but hey, we can't tell the future. Not can we? No. Now, but um, so to help you guys out, um, or at least try. Um, now, don't get me wrong. There's also cons to gap years, okay? There's also cons, okay? As far as, like I said, earlier this pros it comes to everything to college gap years to financing to buying a house to anything like literally anything and basically i'm just gonna i'm gonna tell you what research i've done with the pros and cons okay so basically but like, don't get me wrong there's plenty of pros of taking a gap year one you can get better prepared for college, right? It would give you better sense of yourself, make you more independent, more more mature in a way, you know? It gives, also gives you time to figure out what you wanna study instead of just rushing into something, right? You get that degree, you don't even, you, you get another job with a degree that doesn't even relate to what you have now. So that's just a waste of money, right? You don't want to go to college for that. Just to gain better 
sense of self in the world, right? I know I got off a little off topic. Apologize about that, about that. But that's number two. Gain a better sense of self and the world. You know what I mean? Like taking a break from a classroom learning will help you learn more about yourself and what makes you happy. Like truly happy. You will gain new and different understanding and perspectives of the world as you grow and see new things, of course. Challenges, this is bound to happen. Of course, you're gonna have challenges, you know, facing the world, you know. You're gonna see poverty, diseases, immigration. You learn that through textbooks your whole life. But to experience it, whether it's good or bad, it's still an experience, right? That's that's what we need for us, especially in this generation, especially Gen Z. Gen Z is, ugh. Number three, colleges and universities like it. Don't get me wrong, some colleges actually offer scholarships for you to take a gap year because they want you not to rush yourself, right? They want you to know what you wanna do, how you're gonna do it, where you're gonna do it, and how, and when you're gonna pursue it. They want you to be prepared, not to just go to college just for the sake of, oh, that's America's way. Graduate high school, go straight to college, get a job, nine to five, retire at age 65, and you can't do nothing because you're old, right? So colleges and universities like it. Number four, this will also boost your resume. It is skyrocket, right? Take another language. You could be taking another, ling another language, right? Um, traveling, be fluent in that. It will show you, just, you, you will set yourself apart from the pack, right? The typical, stereotypical, standardized, typical pack, right? Of kids going to college. But you not doing that, not saying that you'll be any better than them, just saying that it will just show confidence and motivation also give you something to talk about in interviews, right? It's why you chose to do it, you know? Was it the right decision? Did you learn from it? How did you learn from it, right? Number five, expand your network, right? Whether you take a job at home or in your life, right? Or travel to a new country, you will make new friends, make meeting new people. Meet as many people as you can cultures, ethnicities, religion, meet all of them. You never know who's out there waiting for opportunity for you, right? This is why you need to expand your network. And those are the pros. <laughs> you also have cons. Don't get me wrong, you also have cons. Fear, you think you'll be behind. You know, if like for many, most of uh, people taking the gap fear, their biggest concern is that they'll feel behind from the peers. But if you read all the pros that, you know, that I've listed above or said above, you'll honestly be coming out ahead, really. You, you will really be coming out ahead. So honestly, if you're thinking about taking a gap year, go for it. Don't overthink it because you overthink it. Then you're just going to lead yourself down a dark path. That's going to be hard to come out of. Number two, worry do you lose momentum. <laughs> I... Personally, don't think I would, but many students and their families, you know, worry about that one year off could turn into many more. And that students won't return to college. But, however, this runs counter to all the evidence we've seen, you know, from 800 plus alumni who has consistently cite that their global citizen year increased their self-confidence, explained their definition of success, and sparked motivation for college. So basically, what this is saying, what I'm saying is some people are different. Don't get me wrong, people are different. Some people might take the gap and be like, I don't wanna do college. I wanna do this and this. Uh, I realized that I wanna do this instead of go to college. And some might see um, taking the gap year, what's about to do? I wanna go to college or see that what career you have what career you want to do, maybe it does require college, right? Like for instance, if you want to be a doctor, you, you, you gotta go to college. You you need to go to college. Like there's no offense about about that. Doctor or lawyer, things of that nature, you need to go to college for because that takes like a long time. Right? Number five. Not number five. Ugh. Three, cost. Depending on how you spend your gap year, it will cost you very 
obviously traveling is boring it's gonna it's gonna be cost some money don't get me wrong it's gonna have a high price tag on it i'm not gonna lie about that but you also have to be careful and persistent of how and why it's very wise of how you spend it right if you know you can't do it it's the saying if you can't buy it twice don't buy it at all right you know um start small you know start going to other cities before you leave the state and after that you save up more go out the state and after that get your passport go out the country and just travel from there and you'll get that travel bug that's what i have now i have the travel bug and uh, it will not leave me at all you know but hey that's that's just life that's just life man um but there's also pros and cons of going to college right like i said there's pros and cons to, to everything and sadly that's the world we live in now obviously pros and cons pros maybe college graduates make more money you know sometimes okay so as you well you probably don't know i'm gonna let you know the average college graduate makes around 570 500 600 thousand you know more than a high school graduate over a lifetime you know but with that being said student loan debt is crippling for college graduates yeah you make that much money in a year but guess what you're also paying that money back to the college see college is a business right you pay for it right you might get a job right you get that money right but guess what you're sending that money right back to the college they're making a profit right simple as that it's crippling student loan is crippling about 44 million americans owe more than 1.5 trillion in student debt and yes i know joe biden's trying to work on that i think he saved like 1.9 billion students um loans and debt for student which is pretty that's a good start don't get me wrong but research says 45 percent of people with student loan debt say college was not worth it 10 percent graduated with over 40,000 debt and about 1% have $100,000 in debt. That was in 2018, right? It's college is expensive, especially in America. You could go to any other country and I'm pretty sure either it's free or it's a, it's a pretty, pretty reasonable price. For some reason, America just want to, wants to do its own thing. We don't know why, <laughs> but there's also another pro, um, pro too, jobs increasingly require college degrees. Now, depending on what career you want to do, it, you might want to do some research and see if you want to go to college for it because, you know, some jobs require a degree. But only 34% 34, 34 of American jobs require a high school diploma or less. And that's in 2017, right? You know, maybe they want you to have a certain criteria. Maybe they want you to fit something, like I said before doctor lawyer you're gonna have to go to college you need a degree because one you don't want to let anybody die or you don't want anybody to go to jail if they're innocent right <laughs> that makes sense you know but there's also a con to that student loan debt often forces college graduates to live with their parents and delay marriage financial independence and other adult milestones 20 percent 20% of millennials are homeowners. And most millennials say their student that has to lead home ownership by seven years on average. That is a long time, seven years, almost a decade. Student loan borrowers delayed retirement saving, 41%. Car purchases, 40%. Home purchases, 29%. And marriages, 15 Less than 50% of women and 30% of men have truly passed the transition to adulthood. And it's all because of this debt, dude. I'm not saying college is a bad place. I'm not saying it's a good place either. But I'm just saying what can happen, the risks that you're putting yourself into if you do decide to go to college. I'm not saying not every college is like this either. Don't get me wrong, right? But it's all up to you and what you want to do in life, like I said. But anyway. Pro 3, Co 
college graduates have more and better employment opportunities. Yeah, I guess you could say that. They got the degree. Maybe the degree can get you something, right? But not all degrees will pay good. You can get a degree that and you're going to get paid like, what, $100,000 a year. I mean, it's not terrible, but you can do better, right? Depending on what you're doing, right? 85%. Of college freshmen say that they attended college to be able to get quote unquote better job you know but there's also people that don't go to college and gets a better job than the person that does go to college and they have no debt but the college gets dubs right so it's like a pro and a con in the same in a way like it's like two in one really honestly but yeah now the con of this is Many college graduates are employed in jobs that they do not require college degrees, right? According to the D Department of Labor, as many as 17 million college graduates work in positions that did not require a college education. Three college graduates had a job that required a high school diploma or less in 2012. One in three, I'm sorry, one in three, right? More than 16,000 parking lot attendants, 83,000 bartenders, and 115,000 janitors and 15% of taxi drivers have bachelor degrees. Think about that, bachelor's degrees. And you're a janitor. I'm not saying nothing wrong with a janitor, but what is that bachelor degree gonna do, right? Nothing, nothing at all. And that's, and that's the problem with society. How, how this generation is so forced and they're only Seeing the view of one side of college being the only way out, you know, getting a nine to five job, right? Being stuck in that position for 30, 40 plus years and retire at an old age. And what are you going to do with the money? You got, you got, yeah, you got money. Yeah, maybe you got money, right? You're not going to find it or anything. You're old, elderly. You can't do crap with it. Nothing at all. And that's what I'm afraid of. Right? Make college is not for everyone. I'm just gonna put you like that. Is college for me? Who knows yet? I'm not there. We'll see how this gap year goes and we'll just dictate what happens from this point. But from right now, like for right now, I need to focus on me. Focus on my goals without being in debt and having stress about that. Because college can be very, very time consuming, stress, overthinking, anxiety, depression, it can lead to all of that. Don't get me wrong, taking a gap year maybe could do that as well. I don't know. I'm still in the process of doing that. Anything can lead up to that. I'm just saying. Just know what you get into before you get into it right do research about that if you're meant to go to college go to college if you if you, that's what you truly and you've been you know that and you've done your research and you know pros and cons and you, you're not afraid to take the risk then do it do it do what's best for you if you're unsure if you have even one ounce of unsurety think about it not overthink just think about it take your time process it talk it over with your family if you need to you can't do it. You can't do it so long. You can't do anything alone in this world. Talk about it and see what they think. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what they think, but just see what they think. If they agree with you, that's awesome. If they don't, then you got to keep pushing with life, right? Whatever you do, just be successful at it. Do not give up. Stay consistent. Stay persistent. Stay humble. Don't get too big. Just stay humble. Keep your eye on the prize. Also, don't lose track enjoy the journey enjoy the struggle because that will only make you stronger if you're only looking at the goal you're missing all everything you're missing everything that you went through you, the path you're going through you missed everything all the opportunities the obstacles maybe there was an opportunity while through the journey but you just focus on the goal right remember just stay focused put your eggs in multiple baskets don't put all your eggs in one basket and like I said, stay humble. Huh. Thank you. That, that was the podcast for today. Uh, I hope you guys appreciate it.
the love and support. Gladly appreciate it. Um, and until then, I will see you in the next one. Remember to stay humble and stay hopeful. Sit is out. Peace.